Hi everyone, welcome to our first sew along of the year. This is the Lynn's Handmade Designs Anti-Theft Backpack. It's called the Guardian. And this is the one that I made in testing. So it is a little bit floppier than I wanted because I eliminated the Decoville light and I used Pixie Fuse Heavy. And that wasn't quite enough. If I had used two layers of Pixie Fuse Heavy, that probably would have been enough. Um, my, my vinyl was also not as stiff as some vinyls. So your backpack will come out not as floppy as this. So don't take this as um, you shouldn't make this because it's too floppy. It will be more sturdy than this. But I love this backpack. I like, I didn't think that I would like this handle, but I find myself using it more than I thought I would. It has two side pockets here. And then I did a double zipper, so I'll probably do a double zipper for the sew along and show you how to do that. It's super easy. I wanted to show you that it does hold, this is our big 32 ounce water bottle that we take to the theme parks and the zoo and all that, and it fits in here perfectly. And there's enough stuff for sandwiches for the kids and you know, all my mom's stuff. <laughs> Inside there's one giant slip pocket and it does have a pen slip pocket here on the side but I think we'll add two side pockets on the inside and I think I'll add a slip pocket here on the pouch um, people have asked for that and I could add a zipper either inside or on the outside I'll decide that as we get sewing but I wanted to show you the size of it and all the pockets it has and the functionality before we get started. So let's go over everything that you'll need. The first is you'll need a main fabric. I've chosen this hummingbird fabric that will be on pre-order from Royal Pixie Custom Fabric in January of 2022. And this is the fancy version with that fancy kind of icicle-y background. We'll have a few other colorways to go with it if that's not really your style. We do have a few more with the hummingbirds. Secondly, you'll need some waterproof canvas. So I've chosen this kind of periwinkle to go with it. I also have this one that will be the insides of my pockets. It just brings out the rainbow of those hummingbirds. So I'll incorporate that a little bit. Mine are canvas, so I don't have to use woven interfacing on these. But if you have a cotton woven, you will want to interface your um, exterior fabrics. So that would be your woven interfacing here. And you'll also need some Decoville light. This will interface your bottom and your sides. So you don't need a whole lot of it, but you do need a little bit for the bottom and sides to give it some structure. All right, let's go over the hardware. You need four one inch D-rings. You need two one and a half inch strap adjusters. And then you need two one and a half inch um, swivel clasps and two one inch swivel clasps. I did not have one inch on me, so you'll notice that all four of these are one and a half inch. And it works out okay. That's what I did on this one as well. There is a piece that goes here that will go from your one and a half inch webbing and then down to a one inch swivel clasp here but I've just sewn it directly onto here and I've eliminated that piece. So you can do like this or you can get the one inch ones. Um, for the hardware, there is a lot of hardware on this bag. I forgot to mention the rivets as well. Um, there is a lot of hardware on this bag. So Royal Pixie Custom Fabric has Guardian Backpack Hardware Packs available. We have both Rainbow and the Nickel and they do include the proper size of the swivel clasps. So you'll get two one and a half inch and two one inch. I just don't have them on me. Um, anyway, you'll also, at least for this one, I grabbed some netting. I'm going to do some mesh pockets for the inside. So if you have some netting like this, that's helpful. Double-sided tape is always helpful. And you want your one and a half inch webbing. So that will be all that you need. Um, let's get started on the cutting. The last thing you'll need is some vinyl and I've picked this beautiful shimmery one from Bob and Jen's Odds and Ends. 
I wanted to show you some of the cutting because this piece can get a little bit confusing and if you are confused make sure to see page two of the instructions. There's a paragraph there that explains how to do it step by step. I'm going to show you as well but you know more times that you can read it over or or listen to me then we can get through it together. I do want to protect the pattern artist here so I haven't shown the entire pattern piece. That's why it's off center a little bit. I'm not a terrible photographer, but that's why it is off center, so I'm not showing the entire pattern piece. But I do want to give you an idea of how to do this. So I've gone ahead and cut out the entire piece, including this part here at the bottom. I use my rotary cutter to do that. I use this big one on the straightaways, and usually I use this smaller one on the little corners or um, if I have a curve. So I recommend using your rotary blades to cut out pattern pieces. So what you'll do now is decide which piece you want as your front and which one you want as your back. And in my case, they're very similar, so it really doesn't matter. If you had a panel or something that you wanted to have featured, then you would do that in this case. Um, but I don't. So I'm going to choose which one I want for the front, and it doesn't matter for me. And then I'm going to cut off this bottom I don't know what you call it, edge here. I'm going to decide which one is the front and that will be this one. So I'm cutting off this 5 8 inch overhang and I'm just going to use a straight away, a straight edge I mean, and just trim this off here. There's no need to use the pattern piece again. But that makes this the front. So that will be this side with no zipper panel in it. For the back piece, take our back piece, and I actually cut two of these so that I didn't have to deal with a split page when I was cutting out that big piece. So you can cut two, or print two if you want. And then lay this back down, and you want to have this cut out so you can flip it up. So that's what I usually do. So I can just put my pattern weights down here. And then I can flip this up like that and cut around the, the oval shape here. So this is where our zipper will go. If there was a particular print or design that you wanted to feature on that zipper panel, you'd want to make sure that it's centered here. And you can cut these pieces separately if you wanted to fussy cut something or use a panel for this part and then, you know, your coordinate fabric for this part instead of part of the panel. You could cut these two pieces separately. Okay, so that's how that works, and we've done the outside, the exterior fabric here. You'll do all of that again for your liner, your waterproof canvas. So that is how you use that piece. Go ahead and finish cutting everything out. Make sure you cut out your interfacing as well. So we'll do this again also for um, interfacing. You'll do it one time for your interfacing for your exterior um, fabric. Go ahead and cut out all of your pieces for this week and post it in the Facebook group under the events tab for the Guardian backpack. This will be in the Lens Handmade group and I will put a link to the event and to the Lens Handmade group and to the Royal Pixie group. All of that in the description so go ahead and check there. Um, I hope to see you next week when we will start sewing. Bye everyone!